In this video let us see how to design a Windows 10 start menu look alike using a C sharp Windows form. The design has a similar look to the start menu with tiles and list of apps. It also features a separate menu for the power button. The menu is centered to make it different from the original start menu. I will also show how to position it at the exact place of start menu. The icon is also designed to resemble it. Without any delay let's start designing. Open Visual Studio. In my case it is the 2019 version. You can design it in any version. Select create a new project and search for C Sharp Windows form. I have a project template here. If you don't have one, search directly from the list of options. Click next. Name your project and select the location of your project. In my case, I will name it Windows 10 Start Menu. Select Create, and the project will load. Now we have our Windows form opened. Let us first customize this. In the Properties menu, we change the color and size of the form. We also change the start position. Now let us change the icon. It should be a file with .ico extension. In my case I have already downloaded a window like icon. We change the opacity of the form to 90% to give it a realistic look. We basically divide a form into segments using panels. Let us go to the toolbox and search for a panel. Select and drag it to the form. Now let us change the properties of the panel. Search for the dock property and set it to left. It basically sticks to the left of the form. We also change the width of the panel to resemble the start menu. We still need some panels for the design. Let us select another panel from the toolbox. This panel would act as the panel containing the list of apps. In the Properties tab, search for the Dock property and change that to Left 2. Now let us change the width of the panel in the Size property. We again choose a panel for placing our tiles. We do the same like we did for the other panels. But, we set the dock property to fill, instead of left. The size fits the remaining space of the form. Let us change the name of the panels to be more descriptive. We can understand the purpose of each panel by changing their names. Let us change the name to left, apps, 
and tile respectively. Let us now start designing each panel, starting from the left. Go to the toolbox and search for a button. Drag it to the form and set it at the top of the left panel. A button is a control, that is used to generate an event when clicked basically. We start changing properties of the button. We style it in a way that looks like a flat button. We change its style, text, and size primarily. We adjust the location of the button. Now, set an image for the button. The alignment of the image should be middle center. The image should be in PNG format to avoid the background color. I have already downloaded the images used in the project. Now let us copy this button and use it as other options. Copy 5 such buttons. You can also select the button and use Ctrl C and Ctrl V as shortcut for copy paste. Position the buttons in the bottom of the left panel. Now, select images for all the buttons like we did for the menu button. After setting the images, check and correct the position of the buttons. The design in the left panel is now complete. Let us start designing the apps panel. Select a label from the toolbox. Position it to the height of the menu button. A label is a control that is used for describing something. We edit the properties of the label by changing the font color, type, and size. The Sego UI font is used basically in the Windows 10 Start menu. We also change the text of the label to recently added, as in the menu. The flat type of a control is used to avoid it look like a separate control in the form. In the toolbox, search for a button and a picture box. Select them, and position it below the recently added label.
Now start changing the required properties of the button as well as the picture box. It includes the basic properties we already edited. Position the text of the button in a way that makes a good design. After positioning, copy both the controls and paste them 5 times. It totally makes 6 buttons. Select some random picture boxes and change its background to make it look versatile. You can keep any color that suits your interest. Now, copy the label and paste it below the buttons. It features another set of apps which would be called as most used. Select the six buttons along with the picture boxes, copy them and paste below. Position them along the panel. Change the background color randomly for the copied buttons too. In my case, I use gray and a dark pink color for my background. Next, select all the buttons to change their properties. When more than one control is selected, any change in the property affects all the selected controls. Change the left padding of the buttons to 70 to position the text after the picture boxes. Picture boxes act as icons of the applications. Select and set an image for a picture box. To position the image at center, Set the size mode property to center image. Select all the picture boxes and change the size mode property in common.
Then, start setting the icons by selecting images for all the picture boxes. Select the buttons and change their text to the respective application names. We have completed our design for the apps panel. We would see how to design the tile panel in the next video. If you like the design, leave a like, and do subscribe for more videos.